I do still remember the first time I attended the mock interview session I was so nervous I couldn't speak a single word mm-hmm. then it got better in second and third sessions and the mock interview session was exactly the same thing what I faced in my actual interview too mm-hmm. Hi Pratyusha congratulations so much on your success thank you ma'am and thank you <laughs> for helping me in getting here the my my part was just little one it was all your hard work so pratyusha let's start with like what is your background what are your like qualifications okay so i'm from a pharma background mm-hmm. i have bachelor's degree in pharmaceuticals and okay. i have a master's degree in analytical chemistry from usa okay so, awesome uh, work, uh, so in usa i worked with uh, pharmaceutical industries in qc and analytical r&d for over 5 years then i decided to move back to india and settled in hyderabad but in hyderabad the most of the pharmaceutical industries were outside the city and the commute and the working hours was getting very difficult for me due to my mm-hmm. personal commitments mm-hmm. so i decided i would uh, take an alternate career which has uh, you know roots in pharmaceutical field mm-hmm. then i came across your videos on uh, youtube about the patent agent uh, as a career and i got very inspired by it it i found it very interesting because the main thing that uh, i found interesting was i would get to learn new things each and every single day while working so uh, i got interested and i took nptel courses on patent law mm-hmm. and i found it very interesting and i ended up doing 3 years of law to have a career in you know intellectual property law and then i took a patent agent examination awesome awesome so how was the examination for you the because the paper 1 2 and viva voice so how was the total experience of appearing in the paper uh actually i have taken nptel examination so i didn't think uh, you know i needed any formal training for the patent agent examination mm-hmm. i thought i was well prepared but when i went for the patent agent examination i was surprised because you know even in the first paper only the first section of the paper was you know the question is thrown at you and you have to pick the right answer right. the other two parts were uh, you know you have to you have multiple answers where mm-hmm. there is a high scope of confusion and i got confused really mm-hmm. and even in the second paper um, i was prepared uh, for the second paper and i was prepared nicely uh, so nicely that i couldn't control my urge to answer each and everything you know i didn't uh, know where i had to you know concise my answers and the main mistake that i did was i didn't start from the patent drafting i started from the situation based questions and then i ended up having less time for the patent drafting patent then. drafting okay. so then i realized it would have been better had it Uh, I have taken a training in the patent agent examination course. Okay, I think so, after that you contacted us. Yes, for yes. Viva so Voice. And we got a call for the interview. The first thing I decided was I am going to take a formal training, and IAPTA was my first choice. Okay, awesome. So, how was your experience uh, for preparation of Viva Voice with us? Did it help you in cracking the interview? It was awesome. So I really can't imagine how my situation would be if uh, you know I hadn't taken any training from my IPTA because you have given us mock I have attended almost like three mock interviews from you and uh, yeah I gained a lot of confidence and for, I still remember the first time I attended the mock interview session I was so nervous I couldn't speak a single word mm-hmm. then it got better in second and third sessions and the mock interview session was exactly the same thing what i faced in my actual interview too mm-hmm. so it helped me gain my confidence and i was not so nervous in okay. fact uh, i was nervous for the mock interview session for the real interview i was pretty confident and you know relaxed awesome so uh, when you uh, take up iipt classes so besides technical things like about patent law what other things you learned which are like non technical or soft skills something like that uh, mostly uh, how i have to face an interview mm-hmm. you know um, i mean i was thought that i was always in the impression that whenever i attend an interview or anything uh, mostly questions will be thrown at me Uh, regarding the patent law but it was not like that i have learned from my apta that you know most of the questions are based on what kind of background you have and what kind right. of answers you are giving them right right so that was the best thing that i learned in the interview sessions <laughs> awesome so what are your future plans how are you planning your career in future now 
uh, right now i'm planning to work for a, a private law firm so that you know again uh, i will get familiarized myself with all the aspects of intellectual property law mm -hmm. and then after i gain experience i'm thinking of uh, either uh, working as a freelancer or joining a pharmaceutical industry mm -hmm. where the scope will be very limited yeah yeah absolutely absolutely like well, the only path is like you work freelance after like one year of experience because that is uh, that will solve your purpose because you can stay anywhere in the world and you can work from anywhere yes yes <laughs> no matter you stay in usa you will stay in hyderabad wherever you can stay that's that's the beauty of it all right any any la any tips you want to give to uh, the students who will be appearing next year for the examination okay uh, the main difficulty i faced i got nervous about before taking the examination was memorizing the section numbers and the fonts but over a period of time i have noticed that instead of learning them by heart if you just uh, get familiarized with them over a period of time you, you will just get them you don't you, i mean they will enter your brain by themselves you will remember them so i feel consistency plays a major role and uh, taking a formal training really <laughs> helps a lot <laughs> for all the aspirants i would say i really regret not taking a formal training before the patent agent examination i got lucky i cleared it but i would have been more confident had if uh, you know i taken the exam uh, training before my examination all right awesome thank you so much pratyusha and on behalf of iipt we wish you all the very best and iipt as your mentor we are always there to guide you to help you also future in practicing as a patent agent any kind of help we are always there for you thanks a lot ma'am thank you i owe it to you actually <laughs> no no it's all your hard work which has finally paid and i i'm 100% sure you will have a great career into this industry thank you thank you ma'am